بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله we'll be continuing with session two of the story of Prophet Adam عليه السلام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allah heard what the angels had said He wanted to teach them that Adam عليه السلام was better than them He summoned all the animals of the earth and the birds of the sky and presented them to the angels He said, tell me the names of these if you are truthful they replied, You are most pure. We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, you are all-knowing, most wise. Allah said, O oh Adam, tell them their names. Adam السلام, started to say the name of each bird, animal, and creature. Allah had taught him all that. Allah said to the angels, Did I not tell you that I know the unseen things of the heavens and the earth, and that I know what you show and what you hide? Adam السلام, was clever. When Allah said that, he, when Allah said, this will be the greeting of you and your children, Adam السلام, replied, O oh my Rabb, where are my children? Allah said to Adam السلام, O oh Adam, choose one of my hands. Adam السلام, replied, I choose the right of my Rabb, and both hands of my Rabb are right and blessed. Allah spread out his palm, and Adam السلام, saw his children. He asked, O oh my Rabb, what are these? Allah replied, These are your children. Adam السلام, saw that each person had his age written between his eyes. Amongst them was a man who had light on his face that Adam السلام, liked. He asked, O oh my Rabb, what is this? Allah replied, He is a man from amongst your children. His name is Dawood and his age will be 40 years. Adam السلام, said, I gave him 60 years from my age. In that way, the age of Dawood became 100 and the age of Adam السلام, was 1000 years. He had a large body. He was 60 arms span tall and 7 across. He was very beautiful in his form because Allah had created him and shaped him with his own hands. He was the best and most beautiful of Allah's creation. Adam السلام, lived in Jannah alone. He felt lonely. He wanted someone to be with him. Adam السلام, slept for a long time. Allah wanted that he have a wife to live with him. He took a rib from him, but he did not awake. Allah placed meat in place of that rib. He made a woman from that rib. The woman sat by Adam's head and looked at him. She liked him. When Adam السلام, got up, he saw her and liked her. He saw her looking at him and felt love for her. He asked her, what are you? She replied, a woman. He asked, why have you been created? She replied, to live with you. Adam السلام, continued to look at her. He was very happy. The angels came to see Adam السلام, and the new creation. They asked, what is her name, O Adam? Hawa, he replied. Why is, she na why is she named Hawa? They asked. Because, he replied, she has been created from Hay, something living. They asked, do you love her? Yes, he replied. They asked Hawa, do you love him? No, she said, but her heart was filled to the brim with love for him. Adam السلام, and Hawa walked in Jannah, eating from his fruits. It was a Jannah which Allah created to test Adam السلام, and Hawa. The enemy was outside Jannah. He tried to come in, but could not. Allah said, O oh Adam, this is an enemy to you and your wife. Do not let him take you out of Jannah, for then you will be most unfortunate. In there, you will not be hungry nor naked. You will not be thirsty nor burned by the sun. Adam السلام, continued to look at Hawa in happiness. He would no longer walk alone in Jannah. He got a wife from his own flesh and blood. They walked together without much knowledge. Allah called out to Adam السلام, and said, O oh Adam, you and your wife live in Jannah. Eat freely from it wherever you like, but do not come close to this tree, for then you will be amongst the wrongdoers. Adam and Hawa looked at the tree, which was not allowed to them. Hawa saw that it was beautiful, and she liked it. They walked and ate from the fruits of Jannah, which was allowed for them. They lived in great happiness. Iblis had been thrown out of Jannah. He hated Adam السلام, very much. When Hawa was created from Adam's rib, Adam's rib he started to hate her also. 
he promised himself that he would get Adam alayhi salam and Hawa thrown out of Jannah, as he had been thrown out of Jannah. Iblis kept going by the gates of Jannah. He wanted to get inside. The angels standing by the gates chased him away every time. They were the guards of Jannah. Iblis, however, did not give up trying to fulfill his dirty hope. He thought that perhaps he could ask one of the creatures of the earth to carry him into Jannah. Whichever animal he asked refused him. He then went to the snake. It was at that time a beautiful animal which walked on four legs. Iblis said to it, I shall protect you from the children of Adam. You will be under my protection if you carry me into Jannah. The snake put him between his fangs and entered with him into Jannah. The guards did not realize what he did. When Iblis knew that he was in Jannah, he came out from the snake and rushed to Adam alayhi salam. He whispered to him, O oh Adam, shall I not show you the tree which will make you live forever and a kingdom which will never come to an end? Adam alayhi salam did not listen to him because his Rabb had warned him against Iblis and told him that he was his enemy. Iblis did not give up hope. He kept whispering to Adam alayhi salam. He told him and Hawa, your Rabb only prohibited you from this tree because it will make you angels or live forever. Adam alayhi salam did not listen to Iblis and ran away from him. Iblis followed him. He told him, in the name of Allah, I am a well-wisher to the two of you. Adam alayhi salam put his fingers in his ears and went far away from him. Iblis now knew that he would not be able to whisper to Adam alayhi salam. Iblis now looked at Hawa and saw her looking at the forbidden tree. He rushed to her and said, what a beautiful tree. Its taste is delicious. Its smell is pure. Its color is strong. Hawa now liked the tree even more. She wanted to taste from it. Her wish for it became so much that it took control over her. She stretched her hand to the tree and disobeyed her rub. She took from the fruit and ate it. She found its taste to be sweet. She went to Adam alayhi salam and said to him, O oh Adam, eat this, for I ate it. Adam alayhi salam replied, No, I shall never disobey my rub. Hawa said, I ate from it and it did not harm me. Adam alayhi salam shouted, I shall never disobey my rub. Hawa left him. She was angry and went far away from him. Adam alayhi salam missed her and went to her. She said no, unless you go there. Adam alayhi salam tried to make peace with her, but she refused. He could not stand that she be angry. At the same time, he did not want to disobey his rab. He tried to remind her, but she did not agree. She said, you must eat from the tree. Adam alayhi salam did not deliberately, deliberately disobey Allah. He forgot his promise and ate from the tree. At that moment, he understood things. He knew what is good and what is bad. He realized that he was now naked. Hawa also realized that she was now naked. They both took leaves from, the gen from Jannah to cover their private parts. Allah approached Adam alayhi salam, fled from him into Jannah. Allah called out, O oh Adam, do you run away from me? No, replied Adam alayhi salam. I am ashamed and embarrassed. Allah said, Did I not forbid, forbid the two of you from that tree and say to you that shaitan is a clear enemy unto you? Why did you eat from it when I told you not to? Adam alayhi salam replied, O oh my Rabb, Hawa gave me to eat. Allah said to Hawa, You are the one who misled my slave. You will dislike carrying babies. When the time comes for you to give birth, you will be close to death each time. He said to the snake, You carry the rejected one in your belly. He could then mislead my slave. You are cursed. There will be no food for you except sand. Your legs will be changed into your stomach. You are the enemy of Adam's children, and they are your enemy. When you meet one of them, you will chase him. And when one of them sees you, they will want to kill you. Adam alayhi salam and Hawa said in repentance, O oh, our Rabb, verily we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy upon us, we shall, cer we shall certainly be from amongst the losers. Allah said to Adam, What I gave you before from Jannah is enough. Do not eat what I provide you from. Adam alayhi salam said in humility, I shall certainly not, O oh, my Rabb. But he swore by your honor to me. I did not think that anyone would lie and swear by you. Allah said, By my honor, I shall send you down to earth. You will never have rest as you had in Jannah. Adam alayhi salam begged, Forgive me, O my Rabb. Forgive me. Forgive me. Allah said, 
Go away, all of you. You will be enemies unto each other. In the earth, you will be a place for staying and benefit for you for a while. That will be all for session two. Inshallah, we'll continue the story of Prophet Adam alayhi salam in the next session. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.